it might not seem like much, but help us out and slam that like button and subscribe. Hit the notifications bell to never miss a second of Spartan Pro Wrestling and your favorite independent wrestlers. I'm just joined by here by Louise here and just what about we finna have this is what I've been waiting for Louise This is what I've been waiting for DJ and what and everyone at Gaston Pro Wrestling Welcome as we just kick off Spartan Pro Wrestling with just Julius Pryor and Cedric Terrell on the outside of the ring as They're tearing each other up Louise. I'm telling you look at this. Look into the barricade like this ain't gonna be a this ain't gonna be a match. This is gonna be a fight. No, this is a brawl. This is a brawl here in Spartan Pro Wrestling here in Gaston, Alabama into the ring pose. Oh, they got to be careful, DJ, because if not, they're going to get counted out for the free. Louise, I don't think they care about anything about a count out or anything like that. I think Cedric Terrell wants to get his hands on Julius Pretty much he's doing right now. <laughs> he's not worried about a pin. a pin. He's not worried about a pin. He just nope. wants to take some pent-up aggression yes, on yes. Julius Pryor. And DJ, they have a storied, a storied background. It's yes, just sir. ready to explode. And I think right now it's... The, the part where everything just oh into the turnbuckle. Oh man! Oh, and now Julius Pryor with the offense. Here we go. And now he's just taking down Cedric Terrell. Just blow after blow after blow. I, I, and Julius Pryor is making it very known. He does not care about the referee's feelings right now. Look at oh, here goes trying, trying to end this real quick. Trying to get out of this match. Because Cedric one count. is full of anger. He's full of anger right now. Yes. yes after definitely. everything Julius Pryor put him through. And there's no mistake about it. These two have had a storied tag team history together. Yes, sir. The best of friends, a great tag team. They were tag team champions on top of that. And now it's just exploded to this animosity that they have right now against each other. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> what a match we're going to have. Man, this is what I've been wanting to see, Louise. This is what I've been wanting to see. And this is the first match of the night. Yes, and talking about seeing it, for those of you who do not are not seeing this live, go to SpartanProWrestling.com. Reserve your tickets. They're just $10 for general admission. And then the best thing about that, DJ, they could get and choose their own seats. Are you? Yes, really? Yes, at SpartanProWrestling.com. 
Man, you get matches like this. This is, but this ain't gonna be a match. We all know this is what we, this has all been coming. This has been coming along. This is and gonna Cedric be a fight. Cedric Terrell, oh. and they're both guess guess what? They're both outside the ring again. Man, if if our general manager O'Hagan wanted to give us a real treat, should have put this no disqualification because this is not gonna be a fight. You know what? I, I said it last week. Josh O'Hagan is a great general manager. He listens to what the crowd wants. Hey. And you know what? He may just end up doing that if this doesn't end up being a one, two, three matchup tonight. I can't speak for anybody else, but he got my wish. Oh, oh man. Send your troll to the, crowd, to the crowd. Over the barricade. The crowd here in Gaston Alabama have to be very careful with these two because there's no telling what could come out of these two tonight. Send your troll oh, off the barricade. Ref getting frustrated trying to get these two men back in the ring, but they are not worried about any count. Wait. The referee's being very lenient, very lenient with the 10 count. Well, that, there you go. And that's a count out, ladies and gentlemen. Just punishing Cedric Terrell. Julius Pryor went, oh man. DJ, I think the referee just gave up. He left these two to just go at it here I mean, on ringside. What can you do? I mean, these guys are just taking all their frustrations up. Both of them messed up title, title opportunities back in the... I mean... DJ, you mean to tell me a backstage full of superstars cannot come out and break this up? <sighs> oh man, did you hear that, Luis? This is... I think the 300 ring just shook after that hit. Look at the faces. They they shocked. I'm shocked. This is... But we we all knew this was not going to be a match. Someone has to come out and stop this. So Suplex out. Oh, oh, my God. Suplex outside the ring. Oh, man. I, oh, oh he's going to feel that in the morning. Come on. Somebody get out here and stop this. Somebody need to come out here and get, this, get out here and stop this, Louise. This punishment. This... Just beating. Wow. Just punishing each other. Matches are already done. Yes, Julius Pryor and Cedric Terrell here on, on the sparring stage. Kick after kick. Wait, 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 Oh man, the punishment right here in front of us, Louise. Whoa, 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 look at Cedric Terrell. The face of Cedric Terrell just punishing Julius Pryor. Oh man, to the turnbuckle. Out to the top. Oh my God. These two have a it's built over. up hit. Oh, wait, Cedric oh, means whoa, whoa, business. He has to ring he got, a, he got a bell, Louise. It's not worth it, Cedric. Oh, do no. not do it. Oh, no, it and a kick the to the gut. A kick to the gut. But no, Julius Pryor has a bell. Uh oh no 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 no! Well, I guess a little bit of mercy from yes. Julius Pryor here, a bit. walking out. Wait wait a minute! What's Cedric Terrell? Said watch out, Julius! Watch out! Julius watch out. Julius oh Pryor. man! No! Ladies and gentlemen, if you're just now joining us, you are missing a bra. Not a wrestling match, not a fight, but a bra as Cedric Terrell and Julius Pryor.
such supplements, Halls of Val- from Halls from Valhalla, modern day Viking Scott Patterson. <laughs> Introducing next, he is one half of your Spartan Pro Wrestling Tag Team Champion from Gadsden, Alabama, weighing 230 pounds, Joey Fiasco. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Spartan Pro Wrestling here in Gaston, Alabama. And DJ, just out of the gates. Oh, no. Just out of the gates, nonstop action here in Gaston, Alabama. Just like his tag team partner, just going out in the offense. Very uh, very start of the matchup. Wait, trying to get the count, trying to get it over. And Scott Patterson with a two count, and you're not going to get one half of the tag team champions down that easy. What a one would this be for Scott Patterson to take down one half of our tag team champions here at Spartan Pro Wrestling. Ladies and gentlemen, we're live here in Gaston, Alabama. Get yourself a ticket. It's just $10 every Saturday night to see this live action, this live, just this experience of Spartan Pro Wrestling here in Gaston. Correct. Patterson, I, I really hope Patterson is not taking Joey Fiasco lightly here because Joey Fiasco does have a mean streak in him. I have seen it in the past. I have as well. Just punishing the top stars here in Spartan Pro Wrestling. And now he's going after the gold along with Hawk, it looks like. And referee says no, no submission yet. He's not giving up. And like I said, he's not going to give up that easily. But he does have that submission lock in the middle of the ring. And Fiasco with a offensive move. And Patterson delivers it. <laughs> Capitalizes on that reversal. Just punishing our tag team champion. And Patterson grabbing Fiasco by the beard. And ladies and gentlemen, at no. home, it is just like grabbing the hair. You cannot do that. But he made a Scott Patterson made a streak of underestimating his opponents for, as of late. Clothesline, people like Onyx, and now maybe our one half of our tag team champions, Joey Fiasco, Correct. here tonight. Yes, DJ, I couldn't agree anymore. And Patterson with the with the open fist, and what, what what it looks like, DJ, from our end to Joey Fiasco, just punishing, just punishing both of both of Hawk and Patterson, but just punishing their opponents here tonight. Just showing that they're here and they're here to stay here in Spartan Pro Wrestling. But Joey Fiasco needs to show Gaston why he is our tag team champions. He got something to prove just as Patterson does. And a forearm to the face. And Patterson, again, not liking what the referee has to say. Oh. Referee doing his job here, just making sure everything is up to par. Oh, and a chop to the chest by Patterson. And look at Patterson. To fiasco. Walking around the ring and he like is it's nothing. DJ, he is laughing. He goes for the pin. Oh, that, wait, that was close. That was close, Louise. Yes, it was. If you was Joey Fiasco, what would you have to do to come up with the win against somebody like Scott Patterson? Well, honestly, DJ, the first thing I would do is go for the legs. This is a big guy when you start talking about vertical height. Get him down. Once you get him down, then you can start hitting those high offensive moves. But right now, he needs to get out the corner. He needs to get out the corner, first of big all. Big time, big time. Joey Fiasco has not shown any offense in a, a little oh, minute. Oh, here. Oh, oh, right. And the kick, a knee to the face. And pulls them. Knock his lights out. Here we go. This could be it all. And a kick out after two and a half. Fiasco is showing some wear and tear right now. What kind of upset would this be if Patterson gets a win over one half of the tag team he'll champions the, here tonight? He'll show the dominance of Hawk and Patterson here taking down our tag team Oh, my God. And Fiasco Wait a minute. the clothesline on Wait the chest. The momentum of Joey yes. Fiasco. Wait, 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 wait. Look at Hawk. Look at Hawk. Wait a minute. What's he doing out here? Again. Oh, come on, Louise. Come on. Is this this? Hey, Joey Fiasco. Satana. Satana with the offensive moon to watch after Joey Fiasco. And as you can see, outside action. Here goes the brawl. This is what I like to see. Here's a brawl. Here's Spartan. Wait a minute. In the ring. In the ring. Joey Fiasco gets the win. The tag team champions steal a win. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner by pinfall, Joey Fiasco.
Christian Valor because he was not approved and released by the medical team here at Spartan Pro Wrestling, and he is going against the one and only Spartan Pro Wrestling general manager, the founder of the Irish Brotherhood, and DJ. He is an Alabama Wrestling Hall of Famer, really? Joshua O'Hagan. Yes, sir, he is. Man, I knew that Christian Valor was not 100%. I knew when he came out here earlier today, like, it, it's just showing that he wasn't ready. So it was. I knew something had to be done, and I thank God that Stefan Dunn is ready to fight one of our general manager here at Spartan Pro Wrestling and one of the top guys here as well. Correct, correct, DJ. But I don't think Christian Valor was ready for this Hall of Famer, Joshua Hangin. I don't think he was able to hang with O'Hangin in the center of this ring. But as these two get ready to bout a little bit of square dancing here in the squared circle. And you got to understand, Louise, that it is pretty much a two-on-one. You know how the Irish Brotherhood has been doing as of late. You know they got Dylan Cook out there, just right there outside the ring, just ready for anything. They have been just burying everybody that comes in their play. And I just don't – I don't like how their, their tactics, Louise. I'm just saying. I like no. – I wouldn't say that, DJ. I would say that Dylan Cook is more out here for moral support, giving, you know, Joshua Hanging some, 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 no, no, no. You know, he's there giving him some motivation. You know, once he gets out of that ring, come on, man, get your head in the game type deal, almost like a cheerleader type of effect. But, you know, last week, Dylan Cook was holding his own, and Joshua Hanging was there for moral support. You're right. I'll give you that one. Well, Hagen's in control here against Stefan Dunn, but Stefan Dunn is not someone you can walk over mm -hmm. as he's been just having the momentum of the Gaston crowd in every single one of his matchups. And he is favoring that left leg as Joshua Hagen, the veteran in the game, You're right. is taking over here and just showing Stefan a little bit of one, two, three wrestling tactics here. And O'Hagan with the grapple in the center of the ring with the headlock. Taking control here. Stefan Dunn needs to put everything in his arsenal oh. in this matchup because O'Hagan is a veteran, like you said. 
that he has been in the game for a very, very, very long time, and right. he knows how to work somebody like Stephon Dunn. Correct. And Stephon Dunn needs to be careful. You know, in that submission move, you know, if his shoulders go down, that could result into a three count, DJ. Right. All it takes is three seconds, and this match could be over. That's exactly. all it takes. Stephon Dunn trying to rile up the crowd here in Gaston, Alabama, as we are here live in the 300 Arena. The focus on the face of Stephon Dunn, but I can't say the same for our general manager here. Just working on, just looking at the referee, the crowd, just keep him out of the game. He needs to stay in this one. Just taunting Stephon Dunn. But would you say that he's trying to play head games? Is he trying to get in ahead of Stephon Dunn? Stephon Dunn is a rookie when you compare him to Joshua Hangen. You're right. Fresh out of the academy here at Spartan Pro Wrestling. You're right, Luis, but you got to understand that every single match that Stephon Dunn has been in, he has always been focused on oh. every single one of them. No matter what he's been thrown his way, Stephon Dunn always come out on top. Correct, and I am not going to take nothing away from Stephon Dunn. Nothing but awesomeness is that this young man has brought into this uh, Spartan Pro Wrestling uh, Square circle here in Gatson, Alabama. And just to, just like that, the reversal into what looks like a headlock. Well, now Joshua Hang is spinning him around, reverses it. And again, DJ, this is that, that veteran. That, that's veteran. the tactics. And what, almost like a, he looks like he was going for a uh, Just that's, controlling. That's, just controlling young Mamba here. Just controlling the man, Stefan Dunn. Just show him who's boss, literally and figuratively. Stefan Dunn takes control now in the center of the ring. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. Trying to steal one. Into one count. <laughs> it looked like Joshua Hagen got a little shock on his face right there. No, he just needs to rethink the, stra the, the strategic task and what he has on hand. Like, what can I do? You know, how one option didn't work. Let me go for the next option. That, that's all it is. You know, let me regroup myself. Let me get some pointers from Dylan Cook. <laughs> I don't like how this is looking. I know how they've been as of late. It's never good when both of them are at ringside. <laughs> you know, like you're trying to, trying to refocus here. Mm -hmm. Get that new strategy in hand. Controlling our general manager, but wait a minute, oh. never mind. And, and just, Slam, and just like that, just dancing in the ring is just like... It's like a waltz in the ring. Joshua Hangen is just taking Stefan Dunn to school. But Stefan oh, Dunn with the reversal. <laughs> All he needs is those shoulders have got to be down, and that's it. Mm -hmm. Just a technical offense of both of these young these men. Whoa, Joshua wait Hagen a minute. Almost miss. nobody's home. It bam! Down goes O'Hagan. You know, like a little bit of concern on the face of Dylan Cook over there. For his tag team oh. partner. Oh! Just punishing the former tag team champion. And that is an Irish hold. No, wait, no. Wait, 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 hold whoa. on. Whoa. Oh, and whoa. again. <laughs> Look at the face of Dylan Cook. He's worried. He don't know, what's, he don't know what to do. <laughs> Joshua kicks out after one. And then another Irish headlock. By Joshua Hangen and another kick out of it by Stefan Dunn. Oh! <laughs> Stefan Dunn is in control here. This is amazing to me, this Louise. Is, this, this is technical wrestling at its best, DJ. <laughs> but you know what? You can only find that here at Spartan Pro Wrestling. You got that right. Just get yourself a ticket. Be here live. It's better than seeing it on your phone or on your TV, on YouTube. Exactly. Just get yourself a ticket. Just $10. Bring your family. Bring your friends. Just come out here and see this live action here at Gaston, Alabama for Spartan Pro Wrestling. Yes, we're on Hulu TV, Fight TV. But you know what? The thing with those streaming services is you got the buffering involved. Yeah. Being here live, you got no yeah. buffering. It is live. I don't like all that buffering. I got to see it live. I like to see it just going on. Just correct. On action. Josh oh, just hanging punishing. Is just, like frustration on yes. the face of our general manager. Taking it out on Stefan Dunn with those Irish kicks. I mean, he was just getting punished here as of late in this matchup. So now he's got full frustrations taking his anger oh, out and a, on Young Mamba oh, here. And a hard Irish hit to the backside of Stefan Dunn. Oh, and an, and an Irish chop in the corner of the ring to Stefan Dunn as Joshua Hagen is just 
He's Whoa. pulling out all the stops, DJ. And now Dylan Cook is just taunting <laughs> Stefan Dunn after that one. We were just talking about being here live, DJ. And if you were here live, you would have heard it and <laughs> felt it. I feel it. I'm going to feel it tomorrow. Oh. And either, don't get disqualified here. Joshua Hanging but, needs to be careful. But he is the general manager. I think he could just start the matchup all over if he wanted to. Oh, well, yeah, true enough. You know, he could just fire this referee, get another one in. Like yeah. I said, for the past couple of weeks, too much power. I don't know if that's good. That's no, a good no, thing. he's a good, a good source of power. Come no, on. no, no, no. It's a good source of power. Joshua Hanging with that Irish forearm. And another Irish hit to the back of Stefan Dunn's back as Joshua Hagen is taking control of this match into the corner of the ring. And the Irish whip to the corner with authority. Well, I would have to say this. Like you just said, I guess it is. Ooh, it's it was like a count. good source of power because if it wasn't for that power, we would not have a new heavyweight champion. No, no, you're right. You're right, DJ. And I'm just punishing. But sometimes he abuses uh. it and it's showing here. It's just that Irish blood, that, that sense to fight is starting to come out. We're slowly transitioning from wrestling oh. and an Irish suplex in the middle of the ring. He thought he, thought he was going to have an easy match against Christian Valor, but now he's actually fighting. He got to fight with everything he got against Stefan Dunn. The crowd's chanting for our young Mamba here. Mm -hmm. Stefan Dunn got to dig in deep to get Irish over. Irish to the ropes. Wait, Josh wait a minute. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. Boy, oh. nobody's home. Wait a minute. Try to steal one. Try to steal one. Oh, no. Two count. Ooh, and an Irish hit to the midsection. Oh, man. Knock the breath out of Stefan Dunn here. It looks like frustration all in the face of our general manager. Dylan Cook is pacing. Just taunting the crowd here in Gaston, Alabama. Mm -hmm. As O'Hagan's putting in the work against Young Mamba here. He's doing an Irish submission hold here. And that's one thing about this Alabama pro wrestling legend, Hall of Famer. Just move after move. You just the technical wrestling that Joshua Hagan is showing here and every time he gets in the ring. Hey, there's a reason why he is a Hall of Famer. Correct. There's a big reason. He's showing it to old Stefan Dunn right here tonight. Oh, but Stefan Dunn got some fight. Maybe a future Hall of Famer here. Yeah, true. Fighting against our general manager. Oh, pick up. Look at the strength of our general manager. Yep. Picking up. Stefan and Dunn is slamming with the Irish slam. Irish slam in the middle of the ring, DJ. You're 100% right. And no one gives Joshua Hagen enough credit. I was backstage with him. He was showing me some videos from his early days. And oh my, huh. if you want to talk about tenacity, I'm telling you. Oh. Just showing the power. He picked up. Stefan Dunn is not a small guy. He picked no. him up like it was nothing. And just threw him out the ring. But now this is dangerous because Dylan whoa, whoa, Cook whoa. is out there. Oh, somebody got to get Dylan Cook away from Stefan Dunn. Let, me, let it be fair. Continue. Let it be fair. No, yeah, he's just getting a better view. That's no, no, all. No, no. Louise, you're giving them way too much credit Josh, here. Look at Joshua Hanger's on the top of the ring apron. What's going to come? Oh, he comes back in the ring. And now he does it to reset the count. Smart move. That's that veteran move yes. right there. Strategic move there. Dylan Cook needs to get away from the fight. He needs to go back to the other side of the ring or something. And, Let then, fight. Oh. and an Irish suplex on, on the outside of the ring as Joshua Hagen is showing no mercy on Stefan Dunn. We're trying to get them back in the ring. Oh, no, 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 Come on, come Joshua on. Joshua Hagen with the chair. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. This, this, you don't have to do this. Maybe he wants to take a seat, you know? Yeah, just... Take a seat, you know. Look, look, <laughs> look, look, look. See how awesome of a GM he is. Oh, come Gives on, him a Louise. chair to come rest. On. Are you serious right now? You see, wait a oh, minute. Oh, and a reversal. Stefan Dunn moves out the way. That's what I'm talking about. Keep fighting. But DJ, the referee's out at six count. They need to get back in the ring if they want to get this matchup to continue. Stefan Dunn is crawling into the ring. Joshua hanging, crawls in the ring as well. <laughs> Trying to pull Stefan Dunn back in the ring, I guess. Wait a minute. What's O'Hagan thinking here? Stefan does says no, no. Oh, look at Stefan Dunn! Is the that it? Power. Wait, wait, what's Dylan 
Doug doing? What's, what's he doing outside? What are you doing with that chair over there? Stop on Doug. It's not looking good for you. What's he doing a chair? What is Dylan Cook doing? This is not good. Whoa, what you got to say about that, Louise? What you got to say about that? He's getting the chair ready because Josh looks a little bit tired. He oh, needs to sit down and rest. Louise, come on. You see what we see. I, I am seeing it. Oh, man. See? Here comes the power and the momentum of the young mama of Spartan Pro Wrestling. So if he takes out a general manager, who's going to run Spartan Pro oh. Wrestling? I don't know. But I'm liking this view, Louise. Oh, now you're liking a view. Yes, I'm liking Now you're liking a view. A couple of seconds ago, you weren't liking it. There was cheat. Come on. What he was doing in the chair? He, was, a chair, he didn't do nothing. He was walking around with a chair, trying to give Joshua Hagen a chair to sit down. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This could be it. This could be it. Here we go. Wait. Oh, that's that veteran rope. move. That's that veteran move. I, I, I have to agree rope. with you on that one. I have to agree with you on that one. That was a veteran move by Joshua Hagen. Yes. Great ring, uh, ring awareness by the Irish Brotherhood founder. And he's still holding on to it. <laughs> he doesn't want to let go. He says no, no. <laughs> oh, Dela Cook getting frustrated. Oh, 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 Hagen, dude got the rope. He needs to let go. Are you throwing right. his squad out here? So what you got to say about that? Look, he's cheating by trying to hold on the rope. Let go of the rope no, and fight no, like a man. He's supposed to break the hold when he has no, the rope. No, oh, Hagen been wanting to fight all day long. And now when he got one, he wants to hold on and try to run away. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Ooh! The momentum of our young mama here. Ooh! To the head of our general manager. And I think Joshua Hagen is going out for a nap. He's out for the count. Now, here. now, Now's not a time for the nap. This is you need to get up. To take down the general manager here. Uh, two count. Still fighting the Irish Brotherhood founder Joshua Hagen here at Spartan Pro Wrestling. That is what a general manager is all about, oh, DJ. That is not a general manager. That That's is. a use of power. That is a fighting general manager. Oh, now Stefan Dunn trying to figure out what to do, but ooh, just knock the light out of his. Ooh, right. I felt that. I felt that. DJ, right when you think the gas tank was empty, there's more in there. That's what I'm talking about. Oh! I think Dunn's, he's over. <laughs> Dunn is done. <laughs> yep. That's it. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner by pinfall, the general manager of Spark Pro Wrestling, the founder of the Irish Brotherhood, and your Alabama Wrestling Hall of Famer, Joshua O'Hagan. Oh, come on. He should have just walked out the ring and go backstage. Oh, come on. This is a Oh, my here. God. I think he killed him. I think Josh. Uh, I th they killed him. Just broke the broke the body and the neck of Stefan Dunn. He's done. Stefan Dunn is done. That's, it's not looking good. That was an awesome double team, though, by the Irish Brotherhood. I admit, that, that was a looks good, that's sick. A good maneuver, but this is not right. This is not right, Louise. What you got to say about this? It's called a fight. Stefan Dunn should have walked out the ring when he had the chance to. He didn't. Stefan Dunn got nobody on his side here. Well, you know, he had Christian Valor. Where's Christian Valor at? You know where Christian Valor at. He's hurt. He wasn't hurt enough to put him in the, in the match. Oh no! Oh, and an elbow outside the ring as Joshua Hanger is laying it on Stefan Dunn. Oh, come on. Sickening. Once again, the Irish Brotherhood take advantage 
of one of the stars here at Spartan Pro Wrestling. But this is making an impact. You mess with the Irish Brotherhood, they're going to show up and they're going to fight, DJ. Oh, this is not right. You know it. You know this ain't right. I know it's right. They're just watching over each other. What are you talking about? Dylan wanted a fight, and that, now he got one, and now they double team. This ain't right. This is our this, this is our general manager. You're right. That is a general manager. That is a fighting general manager right there. This ain't right. That is a Hall of Famer. That's that is a general. fighting That's general manager. That's our leader. That's our leader. <laughs> Joshua Hagan, Dylan Cook, the Irish Brotherhood. Why are you clapping, Luis? You're really clapping right yes, now. Yes, come on. This ain't even that right. That was awesome. What are you talking about? That was an awesome move that they did. I'm here from the same stuff. Come on, you know. Oh, come on. Same attitude as two of the good. Oh, wait. Now you got nothing to say? He's right there. You got nothing to say? I'm just doing my job. I'm just doing my job. Oh, okay. I'm just doing my job. 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 He should have left. You should, he's down. They, they attacked him. He should have left. He should have crawled out and left. I think it was because you looked at Dylan Cook wrong, and now he's taking it out. No, it's my fault. It's your fault. Somebody help out Stefan Dunn. Are you looking to become a professional wrestler? Are you looking to be a manager, valet, referee? Well, look no further. Spartan Pro Wrestling Academy is where you need to be. Whether you're trying to be a weekend warrior or make it to the big leagues, we can help you to achieve your dream. Here at Spartan Pro Wrestling Academy, we try to help every individual to grow and achieve their personal goals in professional wrestling. We work on psychology, ring awareness, footwork, placement, athleticism. So come down, check us out, and let us help you achieve your goals. came through they almost took out our announcer's desk i don't know man i'm gonna whoa, stand whoa, whoa, back a minute. little bit come on we just got this they're, fixed they're, up they're, they're coming we just back got this fixed up we just got this fixed up please please come on guys right now you're just taking out the people that are trying to help and julius fire is just wiping everyone out and look at on this Seth Seth Terrell against julius fire and oh man that kind of shit is sentinel and another chop, chop by and blow by blow. Down goes Julius Pryor. Cedric is letting him know what he thinks. And here come, here come some more people. Zeus Thunder, Joey Fiasco, Onyx. The whole locker room is coming out.
Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first the challenger from Baton Rouge, Louisiana, weighing 176 pounds, Justin Flo. <laughs> And introducing next, he is the new Spartan Pro Wrestling Heavyweight Champion from the south side of Chicago, weighing in 330 pounds, the big stepper, Daryl Shaw. All right, DJ, we're getting set up here. Spar Pro oh. Wrestling for the Spartan Heavyweight Championship is on the line with our new champion, Big Stepper, Daryl Shaw versus Justin Flo. And let's not forget, with the marvelous Miss Mercy out at ringside. I don't understand how some, somebody so beautiful could be so evil. I just don't understand it. But this is all about the goal here in the main event of Spartan Pro Wrestling. Correct, correct. And everyone always gives Miss Mercy a lot of slack for having that clipboard out here and utilizing it in some matches. But to be honest with you, she's taking notes for future opponents on ways to sharpen the tool set of Justin Flo. You're right. You're right. And this could be it. This could be Justin Flo's moment in becoming our new heavyweight champion. Correct. Correct. To shortening the title run of Daryl Shaw. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> that is too much. Nah, do not nah. mess with He's the flow hawk. Around. He's just playing around. But, just playing early. but you do not mess with the flow hawk, though. That is the number one thing you do not do. Hey, you can do whatever you want when you're the heavyweight champion, especially you're the size <laughs> of Big Stepper, Daryl Shaw. Oh, Weber's all that talk earlier, DJ with Dylan Cook. Hey, hey, this is a matchup. They ain't, he ain't break no rules. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> just playing around here. Justin Flo getting a little frustrated here. Yeah. You don't need to get frustrated. This is your shot, man. Justin Flo needs to focus. This is all for the GOAT. This is for the Spartan Heavyweight Championship. The most prestige to belt here in Spartan Pro Wrestling. Got that right. The, the top the top dollar here in Spartan Pro Wrestling. If you have that, you're the top dog here. You're the, you're the, you're the big alpha. Correct. You want those big paychecks. You got to get up that ladder, up that mountain. But before he does that, he needs to take out Daryl Shaw. And the only way to do that is take the big man down. You got that right. It's going to be his biggest opponent. Correct. And, and this is what you do. You take care of the legs. This is good strategic wrestling by Justin Flo. taking the big man down by focusing on those legs. You got that right. Take the big man down. And then next thing you know, you can get that championship real quick. All it takes is three seconds. Mm -hmm. Hey, look like he's scared. No, he's scared no, of our he's champion. Just, just regrouping. Yeah. That's all, DJ. He's you see the look on that man's face? That was pure fear. I was right here. I was literally six feet away from him. That was not fear. What do you think I'm doing here? That, you, you were eight feet away. Oh, so, come on. So this is mostly, let me go over here. Let me regroup with Miss Mercy. Tell me some of the notes from my previous competitors. What can I do to take someone out? Just taking this precious time. You need to get back in the ring. What's all that, all that gloating around? Don't be talking to Miss Mercy. You got to do the fight. No, just discuss it. Okay, when I win the belt, how we're gonna celebrate today? Oh my God. You know, there's a lot of good places you, here in Gaston, Alabama. Are you serious to go out right to. now, Louise? Yes. See, look. Now we want to come on, come on, and get in this fight. But you scared a big step or something? Come on. He, you wanted this championship battle. There's a lot of people in the back that will want this championship opportunity, and, and now he's just gloating, just playing with our champion here. It pains me to agree with you, DJ, but you are absolutely correct. Justin Flo can only win the Spartan Heavyweight Championship in the ring. Cannot right. win it by tap out. I'm sorry, not tap out. Cannot win it by count out, actually. You got that right. You got to win it by pinfall or submission. Correct. That's the only way you can win the championship. So playing around outside the ring is not going to get you what you want, and that is the big championship of Spartan Pro Wrestling. Jeff, Justin Flo with the headlock trying to get Big Shaw oh, down. Just pick up him like a baby. But he kept the headlock down, DJ, and he kept him in the middle of the ring. That's all he could do. He's trying to get out of this headlock here. Oh, he might. He, and he got out of it. Getting outpowered by Daryl Shaw. Oh, just slam him across the mat. Do your job. 
He ain't doing anything wrong. I ain't seen anything wrong. Now, this referee has not been calling the hair shots call, all day. Are you serious Earlier, right now? he wasn't calling for Fiasco's beard attempt. Now, he's not calling for the Flohawk being attacked. Uh -oh. That is a prize. Oh, that is the best hairdo goodness. here in Gaston, oh, help Alabama. Me. Help me. That is the best hairdo here, and you're going to mess that the up. best hairdo. I yes. see better hairdo on my dog. Here really in Gaston, Alabama, oh, really? Oh, no, come on. This is, I've been, I'm, I live here, and I've seen better hairdo. That, that's the problem. Oh, you live here, you, can't, you don't know. Bro, oh, now he's trying to, what you see about that, Louise? He's running away from our champion. He's trying to get in the ring. That's you all see, it is. The ring is right here. See, it's slam him across how, the mat. How about that? How, You're how, trying to run away? He's coming after how, you. How, it's how, a match how is that a win? Oh. How, how, how do you win there? Earlier ago, you were saying that Joshua Hangman should have been doing that. Darryl Shaw is doing the same exact thing. And what, what, what do you have to say about that? But he wasn't running away like he was just right there. Oh, no, oh, now no. he's just punishing the contender here. Showing him why he is the champion. And man, got down goes Flo. <laughs> One of the fans here saying that's got to hurt. I know it hurts. And down goes Flo again. And a textbook belly to belly suplex in the middle of the ring by Daryl Shaw, the reigning champion here at Spartan Pro Wrestling. This could be it. This could be it, Flo. And a two count. You really think that a belly to belly is going to take out the Flo? Hey, it can happen. It can happen. Anything can happen. This is you acting like this is just some regular guy. This is our heavyweight champion. This is Big Stampa. This is Daryl Shaw. And you think this is a regular guy? This guy's from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. You're right. I would give you that. But this is a he is not heavyweight champion for no reason. This is where we go for crawfish. We went through Hurricane Katrina. This is, we, we get nothing but soldiers out of Louisiana. What are you oh, talking come about? Come on. This is gas in Alabama. This is where we. This My point race. exactly. Oh. My point exactly. That's what I'm talking about. Just cheap shot. That's a cheap that shot. That is not Louise. a cheap shot. That's a cheap shot. That is being strategic. Take the big man out. Ooh. And a modified 619 off the off the turnbuckle. Well, no, off the ring post. Because he cheap shot at our champion. That's the only reason why. Just took him while his back was turned. Need to get back in this ring here. Don't want to get counted out. Like I said, you cannot win the championship with a count out. Only way you can win is by pinfall or submission. This is a big, if, if Daryl Shaw gets counted out, he is still the champion. You know, set up a modified 619. We're going to go with the 225. That's the area code in Baton Rouge, for Louisiana. Oh, and we'll go with shit. that, man. Yes. You really just went there. Did you really just go there? Yes, the 225. And Hawk goes for the count. Oh, and it's a one count. Okay. Yeah, just one cut. You know, it was not that quick. This is not no regular guy. This is our heavyweight champion, Big Stepper, the champion of the world in Spartan Pro Wrestling, Daryl Shaw. Now the wait, referee wait, wait, wants to Mercy do his doing? Job. Come on, you just hit him with the key. What you gotta say about that? What I you gotta got, say. I want to hear what you gotta say. Okay, I gotta say that the referee is now doing his job, telling Flo Hawk to get off of Daryl Shaw. I didn't see. What about Miss Mercy? What did she? I didn't see her doing oh, anything. Oh, now you can't see. You right no. there with me. I couldn't see nothing. Oh my God, Louis. We might need a better ref, because come on, you didn't see that. Nobody see. I'm the only one who's seen that. Oh, my, on the back of Daryl Shaw. Leg drop on the back. That's how you get the big man down. All I see is Miss Mercy out there trying to get the, the Are crowd you here serious? gassing What do you think up. she got that for? That's a whole weapon. To that's, take notes. That's a weapon. You can see it from here. She's taking notes. Where's her notes. pen? She had a pen earlier. Oh, my God. And now Flo, thanks to that, thanks to Miss Mercy, now he's in control of Daryl Shaw. Justin Flo is telling the crowd what's on his mind. And the crowd here live in Gaston, Alabama is very, very vocal at, at times here, especially here ringside. Showing them who they want, who is their favorites. And they are saying with no doubt, Daryl Shaw is the top dog, and rightfully so, as our Spartan Pro Wrestling Heavyweight Champion. And you can let our opponents know the same thing by going to SpartanProWrestling.com and getting yourself a ticket. And if you get here earlier, reserve your tickets. You could be ringside telling Daryl Shaw or the Flowhawk exactly what's on your mind. Uh, don't say too much. You might get sucker punched. These guys. Wait, wait, wait. What's Daryl Shaw thinking here? Oh, oh, wait, nothing. Nobody's home. It was Flo. Oh, uh, caught him. Caught him. Caught him. You ain't going to hit. Daryl Shaw is like a bus. You ain't going nowhere. Oh, to the turnbuckle. Let's talk about Daryl Shaw's arsenal, man. His, one of his finisher moves, he does have the reverse DDT, which is similar to what he calls the chalk line. <laughs> 
Daryl Shaw, once he put that maneuver on you, it's only. Did you see that, Louise? Did you I, see that? I was looking at Justin. Are you say, I'm, oh Justin Flo is being attended by the referee. That's what I'm saying. I need another announcer because nobody can see what I see. Look, this, is, this is not even right. It, it's right. Are you serious right now? I, I, Hey, did the referee see it? This is not I didn't fair. See it. The referee didn't the ref see never it. sees anything. The referee sees a one, two, three count. Oh my! God. I see Justin Flo on, on on ringside right now. He's on the ring apron. And now, now thanks to Miss Mercy, now Flo is taking advantage. That's that what I'm talking kick. about. But it looks like are you came, clapping? Are you yes, clapping now? But that came back to hit. Oh, so you want to be champion thanks to some cheap shots by Miss Mercy? What cheap shots, DJ? I did not see no cheap shots here tonight. Um, I'm, I'm going to need a volume. I don't know what's going on. Oh! And the Flow Hawk with a near kick out on 2.99999. We no could have matter, had a new Spartan Pro Wrestling champion. No matter what they throw at Daryl Shaw, even if you can't see it, they are he's fighting on, he's keep fighting to keep that championship that he just won. Oh, oh, DJ, you asked where the pen was. I see the pen right now. Oh. It's on her right hand. It's a green pen. You see it? She has a pen. Justin Flo needs to be careful. He cannot afford to be disqualified by the uh, by the referee here. He has up to a five count. Just, and that, hey, my friend, was 4.9. He's messing up right now, just looking at the crowd and trying to figure out he needs to keep focus. If he wants to keep champ keep the champ to win the championship here tonight. And here goes Darshaw fighting back. Fighting back, trying to get back into this matchup Loving, to keep his blows. title. Look, did you see that, Louise? I, no. I, I, oh, my God, grip. Louise. He, he needs new shoes. He clearly has no grip. She on the literally of grabbed his foot and tripped him. Who grabbed whose foot? <laughs> this Darryl, is not even right. We're going to have a Shaw new champion. Slipped. We're going to have a new champion because people ain't doing their job. Now, Justin Flo needs to capitalize. He needs to go get the pin. It doesn't even make any sense how nobody's seeing now, what I'm seeing right now. Well, I see the bottom of Daryl Shaw's feet. He has no grip whatsoever. That's how you're going to blame it on the grip. Yep. Yep. You're going to blame it. He won the championship with those shoes on. Well, it came back to haunt him. Um, now, Flo just taking advantage of a cheap shot by Miss Mercy to make sure he, her client wins the heavyweight championship. Oh, and that'll be awesome. It'll be like Mardi Gras all over awesome. again. It's going to be awesome. I, 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 you know what? I, I may go. You can stay over here in Gaston, Alabama. I'll go to Louisiana with just some See, look at this. Picking up, picking up like he's nothing, like a baby. But Flo trying to fight in this one. Oh, oh DDT! Wait a minute, wait a minute. Who, who's, who, 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 whose pin was that? Like, I, I don't know. I want to say that... I agree with you on that one. I didn't even see that one. Oh, and now the frustration. Don't get too frustrated. This is what you mess up at. Don't get too frustrated. The frustration on the face of Justin Flo. He wants to get this championship. What a way for him to win against Daryl Shaw and become the new face of Spartan Pro Wrestling. Correct, correct. And the new face of Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Oh, my God. Here can, we do can, Louisiana yes, again. Yes, yes. Can you imagine, though? All... <laughs> All the beads are gonna be flying. Oh we'll go to the French Quarter and celebrate. Somebody help me. I'm gonna need two volumes after this one. Yeah, we'll go to the Mercedes Benz Center too. I read it. Oh, this frustration is gonna come back to haunt him. But you can sit here in the ice tub with Darren Shaw and talk about how he lost the championship here in Gas in Alabama. If Justin Flo wins, it's just because of Miss Mercy and his. And here we go. Tactics. Nobody's home. Right on the head to the turnbuckle. Now that and shouldn't be allowed. That's, 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 that's a, a part of the match. But that's a foreign object. You're using foreign a object foreign at the object. ring. It's that a part of the ring. It, it's it's a foreign object. Oh my God, Louis. <laughs> and now he now Justin Flo don't know where he's at. Days off. Oh no, um, picked him up! No, oh, well, just a full fight once him. again! In a drop back. kick! Come on, Daryl Shaw, come on! Small uppercut. Daryl Shaw's against the top rope there. Irish rip. No, to reverse it by Daryl Shaw to the ropes. Wait, wait a minute, wait Miss a minute! Line. Oh, well, picked him up again like it was nothing. Look at the power of Daryl Shaw! And a body slam by Daryl Shaw in the middle of the ring to Justin Flo. The big step of Spartan Pro Wrestling. And look, you got some gloating going on here. What do you got to say about that? He's not gloating. He's getting he's what still was that? He's a cartwheel. Focused. Here we go. That could be it. What's Miss Mercy doing on the ropes? She's trying to say, how's he going to win with the cartwheel? How she needs to get off the ropes. She's not part of the match. She needs to get off the ropes. 
She's been cheating all the way through this matchup. She has not been cheating. Oh, come on. She don't even need to be out here. Yeah, get ref. Finally, the ref's doing his job to make sure. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yo, Sha Chan. Make sure. Wait a minute. What's, this is not going to be good. I think he, she, she's doing her job. Wait a minute. This is assault. Wait a minute, ref. Ref. Thank you. Thank you. I will clap to that. Thank you. Now how she's going to take the notes for Justin Flo. No, she ain't that, doing no notes. What are you talking about notes? That's what I'm talking about. Oh, get the come big on. Man now down. you clapping. Come yes. On. Get the big man down. Take him out by the feet. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I only kicked to the head Let's of the air, Shaw. He's dazed. He's dazed. This is Justin Flo's chance, and I'm not liking it. I'm not liking it. Just cheap shots all through this matchup. Like I said, we'll go celebrate in the French Quarter. You can stay here and gas. Oh, my God. This is the home of Spartan Pro Wrestling. It's gas in Alabama. Correct. We'll celebrate a little bit, then we'll take it to the real oh place. My God. That's where you do the real partying at. See, now Miss Mercy has her clipboard. She can take the finishing notes. She ain't took, she ain't took not one note through this matchup. She has. Wait a minute, just pick, just crowd them. Wait a minute, and now the fear on just a full face. Here we go, now. It's the go chalk flow. line, the chalk line. And we got a steel champion. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, and your winner by pinfall, and still your Spartan pro wrestling champion, the big stepper, Daryl Shaw. <laughs> What a win for Daryl Shaw. Congratulations. No matter what they threw at him, he is still your Spartan Pro Wrestling Heavyweight Champion tonight. I'm going to say that's an impressive move set by Daryl Shaw and finishing off with the chalk line. But you got to hand it to Justin Flo. He did bring a good bit of fight to the match here tonight. Along with some cheap shots, but he still brought his fight on his own in some part of the matchup. What a battle here tonight in our main event. Sure. Ladies and gentlemen, this is DJ and I'm Lewis. Thank you for watching Spartan Pro Wrestling and our still reigning champion, Daryl Shaw. We'll see you next Saturday here at Spartan Pro Wrestling here live in Gaston, Alabama.